That is the most pickle pickle I've ever had. That's pickle in my pickle. Woo! Action! Hello everyone! Welcome back to Food Review Club. We are back out in Cambridge. Local review. Trying to limit our travelling. Um, but before I kick off with today's rather special way review, we've got a sponsor. Dream Team Giveaways. Logo down there. And I might even put a little scrolling screen recording of their website. They have got an amazing giveaway raffle type website. And actually, there's a PS5 giveaway this Sunday at 3 o'clock. 9 a ticket. And look. Hold on a minute. Here we go. Don't tell everyone my coat. <laughs> so look, here's Dream Team Giveaways. Come in close, Jess. Luxury holidays, PS5s, cash he Dyson hair dryers, girls VIP day out in London, awesome stuff. I'm gonna put a link to their website in the comments below. I'm gonna tag them up, but go and check them out. PS5 lovers, someone wants to get their hands on one, I'll do the competition this Sunday. Right, you might have seen me swip out my <laughs> uh, steering wheel. Uh, what's it, what do you call it? It's like a little table? Yeah. Car table. Here we go, guys. Look, there's levels to this game. <laughs> Right, where are we? I'm in Cambridge, and my beautiful wife, Jessica, do you want to say hello to everyone? Hello. You found us a dark kitchen style delivery hot chicken. Yeah, so I really wanted to try some Nashville hot chicken. Yep. And I was looking on Instagram. Yep. And Steak and Honor in Cambridge. Are... Do you want to turn the camera around so you can see that over there? Steak and Honor, just down there, look guys. They're doing, they've, well they've opened a new chicken place called awesome dots chicken dots hot chicken dots hot chicken now let's just whip it out but i'm gonna say it guys brandon buckets looks great it looks great i'm kind of excited it's like look so let's I let's wait let's try and see if we try anything <laughs> see wait and see if we like the taste so let's how much have you spent here jessica uh 27 pound 50. can we just confirm We've spent the money. <laughs> oh, it's a receipt. Oh my god. £27.50 order paid. A few numpties get in the comments. But we were really, really keen to get some more chicken on the page. Chicken seems to be like a bit of a hot flavour of the month for us, doesn't it, at the moment? Yeah, yeah, I love a bit of chicken. So you've got us a bucket of so wings. You've got a bucket of southern fried wings. Yeah. And then you've got this is the hot chicken. This is the Nashville hot chicken. Yes. What is Nashville hot chicken? Let's go find out, aren't we? Sounds good. Sounds like, uh, sounds legit. Well, let's find out. So, Dots. Looks like it's a order online only job, is it, Jess? Yeah? Yeah, you just order on the website. It's really just easy. Just wait, stay on can... and they bring it out to you. So, are they actually cooking this in from the shop front there? I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been cooked in there. So. Cool. Here we go. Oh, okay. So we've got pickles. What's that underneath, Jess? Like a bit of bread? Yeah, oh, that's the malt loaf. Malt loaf. Or milk loaf or something like that. Thigh, drumstick, pickles that look incredible, by the way. This is awesome. This is absolutely, let's try some of these pickles. <laughs> oh, yeah. Proper pickles. That is really pickled. That is the most pickle pickle I've ever had. That's pickle in my pickle. Woo! Right, I don't know how to eat this, Jess. With the bread or just, it's got bone in there. I have to just pick it up and smash into it, aren't I? Yeah. So this is Nashville hot chicken. So I'm gonna have a nice close up of that. First impressions, uh, that deep, rich, red looking um, color to it. This chicken doesn't quite have the same. Well, no, that's Southern Fried. That's, that's Southern Fried, yeah? Yeah, that's the hot. Oh, okay. So could you get wings? Yeah, yeah. Either or. Awesome. We, Let's so dive I in. thought we'd try both. Let's dive in. This is the thigh. Love a thigh anyway. Full of flavour. Um, all right, cool. Here we go. Oh, 
Right. <laughs> yeah. That's hot. That's nice though. Whew, that's hot. Is there any like warnings on that? Have you just like stitched me up there? <laughs> no. This is a prank. <laughs> no. Right. We need to digest that then for a second. First things first, look at that bit of chicken inside. Fantastic. Really, really cool. Um, it's kept all of its moisture. The outside of the, the crispy outside coating. You can probably hear it. It's still retaining that crunch. It's, it's, uh, it's making my mouth water. <laughs> yes, it is delicious. One thing I will say, it's probably not for the faint haunted, faint hearted, faint hearted. <laughs> the, the heat's gone to my brain. Really? <sighs> yes, I'm like, let me get some fresh air in it. That's chuffing hot, that is. Turn the engine off. That's right. Um, <clears throat> have you got any drink there? No. No, you haven't. Oh my god. Right, drink watch. It's coming out earlier than expected. <laughs> Pasha drink. This is one that I bought from uh, Five Ackies. It's been in the car. Didn't we forgot a drink, so I've stripped it out. This is a uh, alcohol free mojito. But right now, it's just a, uh, being used, used as a fire hydrant. <laughs> is it that hot? That's pretty fucking hot. Oh, that's pretty fudging hot, Jess. <laughs> right. Come on and look, my love. It looks it hot. It is looks fiery, looks angry. Um I'm gonna be brutally honest with you, it's delicious. It's really got a really, really nice flavour to it. Um if you like a bit of spice, yeah. I could eat this all day long. Should you try the, yeah, try the bread underneath? The bread underneath. So I'm assuming that Yeah, you can call that bread whatever you want, it's just that's just bread. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's milk bread. Okay. Okay, Jess. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, a bit of chicken. A bit of crispy, crunchy skin. Yeah, it's just... Absolutely delicious. Price breakdown, Jess. Oh, that milk bread is lovely. Is it? Yeah. Do you remember the different prices of this? That's really hot. I think um, what, you're, this. what you're holding there is like nine fifty. Okay, so that's up there a little bit. Yeah, and the, just for this. Yeah, just for that, and then the box of or well, the bucket of wings is like fifteen quid, and then the chips are three pounds. Bucket of wings is fifteen quid. But you get like I think you get something like fifteen wings in there. It's quite mm, a lot of wings. That's really nice. <clears throat> that's really got me. That is. Dots, great things about it so far. Flavor, crunch, branding is on point. Price point, it's up there. The Nashville hot is hot. You spice lovers out there might uh, disagree with that. That's not hot. I'm not a spice lover. I'm a no spice white boy. Um, I've only just turned on to popcorn chicken, you know what I mean? It took me five years to build up to that. Chips, that's a nice chip. Really well seasoned. Try one, Jess. You're a chip connoisseur. <laughs> what do you think? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So, look, guys, before I dive into my bucket of wings, I'm really excited about. How are you all doing? Um, still going through me, that is. <laughs> How are you all doing? been in lockdown homeschooling your kids we've seen some really horrendous posts online over the last few days about um the government supplied meal parcels and meal packages has that affected you what do you think get in the comments i'll put some pictures in the comments below of some of the stuff we've seen like really atrocious whoever's in charge of that uh needs to be sacked some of the packages that have been distributed are really awful i don't know what you guys think whether the mum and dad should or shouldn't be able to afford for their kids it's irrelevant if you've got kids going hungry because of that bad news i was on free school meals was on when i was in primary school i know how important is that and kids being at home yeah what do you think get a comment food it's a food page really close to our hearts right let's get on with the these chicken wings 
First things first, I love the fact you get a bucket of them. That is like old school KFC days where you all dive into a bucket, get a few bits of chicken out yourself. Oh, my mouth is still absolutely raging. I thought Nashville hot might have been like a style or a sauce. Well, do you know entire... you see the videos of the, I think oh, Nashville is quite famous for their chicken. Is it really? Mm. We should go there one day. Jesus Christ. It's really bad. Come really. On. You wait. You wait. <laughs> I think I'm holding this together pretty good, to be fair, Jess. Right. I nearly got it all natural hot. Did you really? Yeah. Even the wings? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay. Here's the wing bucket. I'm going to come out and admit it. I don't like my wings being in one piece like this. Maybe that's the, how they do it. I don't know. I prefer to have my iron and my flat. Let's just dive in anyway, shall we? Right. Here's my wing. It's gonna do it. It looks like it's the same coating to the Nashville Hot. The Nashville Hot's obviously got the, the fire, the lava seasoning on it. On it. <laughs> all in all, this is some solid fried chicken. It's like really good coating, it's isn't just it? Like, like really crispy and... This is actually a really exciting review. It's so nice to eat some proper fried chicken. I've said it time and time again, that the high, typical high street chicken shop, the standards are so, chuffing low it's unreal we've slipped into a some really bad habits in the uk of, of what we expect from fried chicken shops dots hot chicken look at that it's like real deal here get me pour a piece out for you not an ounce of grease on that whatsoever really dry nice crunchy outer coating on that even the underside look we're typically where you'd see the grease or the oil hiding it's just not there. Really impressed. Really, really cool. It's got great seasoning to it, great flavor. Texture is on point. Chips, decent. Price on the higher side for me. And... We are in the center of Cambridge though, aren't we, you know? Yeah. That's a bad dress. 27 quid. I don't know you get a bucket of wings here, aren't you, Jess? Yeah, I mean, that'd probably be enough for both of us to share, won't it? <laughs> All in all, really impressive. Drawbacks for me, as a standalone product, it's really nice. But I would like to see them probably expand. Is their menu a bit more, is that is it no, fairly basic? Yeah, it's, it is fairly basic, but they've only been going a couple of months. So. Great, well I think they've got such a great product that they could maybe jazz it up with some different flavors, sauces, coatings, other than your Nashville Hot, I don't know if that's the brand they're going for. If it is, great crack on, because there is definitely a market for some some solid chicken. Um, hats off to them. Well done. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, you can probably earn on the, the basic side of, of, of the coin. However, they have nailed it. And there's so much to be said for doing a simple product really, really well. Um, Dot's Hot Chicken, what am I gonna give you out of 10? I don't know if these have been popular or not online. I'm assuming they are. Um, Rest in peace, all the greasy chicken chops that are serving those disgusting, soft, battery, sweaty pieces of chicken in a hot counter. Like, oh my God, get out of my face. I suppose if you wanted to lose weight and wanted to go and get yourself a little dose of food poisoning, these, those places are ideal. But if you want some good, honest food, there's a new chicken shop in town, Dot's Hot Chicken. What am I gonna give these out of 10? Guys, get in the comments. What would you think this should be uh, graded fairly basic but is there something to be said for just doing something really really well um like chicken george for example and i'll talk about more time their chicken is like this well maybe a little bit better to be fair but then they they jazz it up on top with their other stuff uh it kind of takes you to a really special place i'm gonna give this a score out of 10 of 
this is gonna be this is a rock solid what do you think i'm gonna give it jess <laughs> what do you think um i don't know where to put this i think it's i think it's in, in the nines no it's not in the nines oh really no i was thinking like i can't see much wrong with it though. mid no it's not it's just it doesn't just because there's, there's nothing wrong with it doesn't mean it's going to go in the nines okay i think a really fair score for this would be an eight point three great that's a great score my love that is a great score um a natural hot chicken well worth prime absolutely loved it bucket of wings bucket of chicken rock and roll thanks for watching everyone and once again a massive shout out to dream team giveaways and if you want to sponsor our page and get your logo business or service seen by our audience please send us an email get in touch we'd love to work with you thanks for watching everyone from me and dots hot chicken that was a review check the mic and make sure it sound right boys